For years, hardly anybody knew Jensen Wong's name. The CEO of NVIDIA was seen as someone who made the best chips for video games, if he was seen at all. If you spent thousands of bucks on a souped-up gaming PC, you might have heard of him. If you asked your German car dealer what made their car so superior, she might mention NVIDIA, which is how I found out about it a dozen odd years ago, when the head of Audi North America tipped me off about NVIDIA's non-gaming greatness. But on a day where the Nasdaq exploded higher, surging 1.96%, as the Dow gained 96 points and the S&P rallied 1.18%, we have to think about what this man means to the market. Because I can't remember another executive who had this much influence over U.S. stocks. It's a fitting tribute given today NVIDIA's market cap exceeded Apple's, finishing just north of the Cupertino giant, $3.012 trillion for NVIDIA, $3.003 for Apple. Sure, we've had some huge winners in our time, right? Steve Jobs, the iPhone, Bill Gates, uh, Windows, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook, now Meta. Those are individuals who personally changed the world. They're amazing men. But nothing like Jensen. Nothing at all. How has the CEO of NVIDIA made a bigger splash than even Steve Jobs or Bill Gates? Look, Jensen is an American original, immigrant, young genius, worked his way up the Denny's ladder to dishwasher. Gets degrees, starts company, almost fails, stands up to Intel, dismissed by Andy Grove, even as people at the highest level at that company said Jensen's lightning fast chips were the way to go. Now NVIDIA has $3 trillion market cap, and Intel's worth a cool $131 billion. His chips have started nothing short of an industrial revolution. Recently, NVIDIA's market value surged past $3 trillion, lifting the chipmaker ahead of iPhone maker, Apple, to become the second most valuable company in the world. This extended a breathtakingly rapid climb that started last year, which was backed by investors betting on NVIDIA becoming the top winner from a wave of investment in AI. The host of CNBC's Mad Money, Jim Cramer, is still bullish on NVIDIA, and said that Jensen Huang's impact on the entire stock market is undeniable, as NVIDIA can boost other stocks when it soars. But Kramer isn't the only one that's going all in on the company, as the leading Japanese bank, Mizuwu, recently raised its price target on NVIDIA stock, and we're going to talk about that in today's video. Additionally, we'll talk about whether investors should buy NVIDIA stock after the stock split. But before we do that, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. Let's talk about NVIDIA again. <laughs> I mean, you own it, so you should have that big smile on your face. Um, is it defying logic to you, or just does this make perfect sense? No, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but an intrinsic value base, it's really tough to get to $3 trillion. That said, though, if you're designing the perfect momentum company from scratch, NVIDIA would be it. Yeah, you've got a great story, a CEO who sticks to the story, no distractions, is able to meet expectations in the short term because they've set the game up. And you've got a market that contributes to the mix. I mean, I think that uh, you, you're seeing one of the great momentum plays of all time playing out in front of you. Well, are you um, re-evaluating, I guess, is the, maybe, maybe the best word I can think of at least now, um, of, of how you would view this stock in terms of its value? If, it, you know, if, if you thought it was overvalued before, right. what do you think now? And are you looking at it? Is it forcing you to look at it differently? Oh, well, with every earnings report, you're always required to go back and look at your basic story. And I think my basic story is bigger than it was a year ago, partly because of what NVIDIA has delivered and partly because of what AI is showing it can do in the overall economy and market. You know, just I was listening in on the story about HP Enterprises reporting higher earnings because of AI. You saw that with the big tech companies. I think you're seeing AI percolate, go beyond the architecture part of the business into services, into products, into the rest, the software. And I think you're going to start to see the ripple effect show up in other companies. Mizu Wu recently raised its price target on Nvidia stock from $1,180 to $1,275 and kept its buy rating on the stock. This was before the stock split, and even though the stock is now trading at a much lower price after the split, this move from Mizuwu shows that many names on Wall Street are still expecting massive growth from the company. 
There's still a lot of room for NVIDIA stock to run, especially as the company prepares to launch its next generation Blackwell GPUs this year, then the newly announced Rubin platform in 2026. This cycle of releasing a new AI chip every year will help NVIDIA maintain its lead in the massive AI chip market, which is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 38.16% to reach $372 billion in 2032. Notably, NVIDIA's AI accelerators have between 70% and 95% of the market share for AI chips, so if it can maintain that lead, it'll continue earning hundreds of billions in revenue for the next few years, which means that the company's future outlook is extremely positive. With all of this in mind, is it time to buy NVIDIA stock after the stock split? Let's find out. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. Recently, Jim Cramer said that NVIDIA might overtake Microsoft as the world's biggest company, and we can definitely agree with him on that. Microsoft was founded nearly 50 years ago, and the company revolutionized personal computing through its Windows operating system. Over the years, it has grown into one of the tech industry's most diversified businesses. The evolution of Microsoft from being a PC business to a company operating across multiple different industries has helped unlock new sources of growth, and this directly correlates to Microsoft's rising valuation. NVIDIA, on the other hand, is a much younger company than Microsoft. But while it started out as a company that makes gaming GPUs, it quickly became much more than a GPU company. For instance, NVIDIA is now involved in robotics, enterprise software, autonomous driving, and more. Additionally, it's investing a lot of money into AI and tech startups. Therefore, we can say that NVIDIA has taken a path to the trillion-dollar club that is strikingly similar to Microsoft's, but can NVIDIA actually surpass the world's biggest company? Let's compare the two to find out. Shares of NVIDIA fell today in a mid-news that the FTC and DOJ are set to open antitrust probes into NVIDIA, Microsoft, and OpenAI to investigate their dominance in the artificial intelligence industry. This happening as NVIDIA surpassed $3 trillion in market cap yesterday and ahead of the company's 10 for 1 forward stock split that's going into effect tomorrow after the close. Joining us now to discuss is Ben Reitzis from Melius Research. Ben, it's great to have you on. Um, we saw, okay, stock came under pressure today. We saw some selling. However, we did see an incredible run-up post-earnings last month uh, ahead of this. So I do want to get your thoughts first on these antitrust headlines, these reports, whether there is any concern to be had or any risk to be had uh, to the stock, especially as it trades at these levels right now. You know, I'm still trying to get my head around this antitrust it's the thing, you know, these are hard for an analyst to opine on, but I'm, I'm just wondering what they're thinking here. I mean, are they mad at NVIDIA for figuring out the world was going in this direction before anyone else, inventing the best chips, innovating, uh, changing the world? Um, you know, we'll just have to see what happens here. But, uh, you know, the DOJ under this administration is probably investigating um, all my mega caps that are in the MAG-7 in some way, shape, or form, and we, we're focusing on the fundamentals. Um, we have to deal with this with Google, we have to deal with this with Apple, you know, now Microsoft and NVIDIA, which are all under my coverage. And I think by focusing on the fundamentals, we're gonna be in the right place. Um, I'm not really sure with NVIDIA what they can really say, because, you know, you're gonna, maybe you gotta blame some of the competitors for just not seeing the GPU market like Jensen did, you know, several, you know, decades ago. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I, I just focus on the fundamentals, guys. Okay. When comparing Microsoft and NVIDIA's market caps, the key thing to look at is the pace of growth. If NVIDIA keeps its current growth rate, then it should handily eclipse Microsoft as the world's most valuable company, as the company had gained over $1 trillion in market cap just this year, while Microsoft has gained around $360 billion. Additionally, NVIDIA's amazing 121% gains in 2024 have played a central role in sending the Nasdaq 100 higher. And the stock's outstanding rally seems to be here to stay, with many Wall Street analysts increasing their earnings expectations for the chipmaker following its latest quarterly report. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, 
back to the video. Well, we, you know, we really feel that this is obviously the closest, this is the next Apple. We were lucky enough to be an analyst covering Apple and watching them create an ecosystem where they did a full stack solution basically and allowed you to monetize a whole app ecosystem. This is the AI version of that. And that's what they're doing. They are creating a solution that's turnkey to allow you to monetize AI. And that hopefully is ahead of us. And we just feel if, if you believe in AI and you believe it's gonna be monetized by the world's largest custom uh, companies and then filter down, this is the way to play it. Uh, we've been pretty vocal about $45 and earnings power should be demonstrated within an investable time frame. Uh, it's well below 30 times that even at today's valuation. So uh, mm -hmm. we have some faith, Jensen, here in the crew. Over the past 30 days, 47 Wall Street analysts have bumped up their earnings per share estimate for NVIDIA for fiscal 2025, while 44 have done the same for fiscal 2026. There are two main reasons why analysts expect NVIDIA to deliver stronger earnings. First, the company has been able to maintain its stranglehold over the AI chip market as it ended 2023 with a 94% share of the AI server market. As a result, its revenue from sales of data center chips shot up a remarkable 427% year over year in the first quarter of fiscal 2025 to a record $22.6 billion. Meanwhile, NVIDIA's main competitors, AMD and Intel, reported data center revenue of $2.3 billion and $3 billion, respectively, in the first quarter of 2024. And this shows just how much NVIDIA is ahead of the competition in this segment. And what's even better is that NVIDIA can sustain its dominance in the AI chip market with the arrival of a new generation of chips that could widen the gap it enjoys over rivals. Its upcoming chips based on the Blackwell architecture are touted to be four times faster than the current chips based on the Hopper architecture. The company also said that the demand for its upcoming Blackwell chips is already so strong that it will have difficulty meeting it going into 2025. So, the company's AI lead seems here to stay, and that should allow it to ship more units of its AI graphics cards. The second reason why analysts are upbeat about NVIDIA's bottom line growth is because of its immense pricing power in AI chips. According to Rain and James, it might cost NVIDIA $6,000 to manufacture one Blackwell B200 accelerator. Since each processor is expected to be sold for $30,000 to $40,000, it stands to make a hefty profit on its new chips. In all, the incredible growth of the market for AI chips is going to be a big tailwind for NVIDIA because of the reasons discussed above, which is why there is a good chance that this AI stock could soar further following the outstanding gains that it has already clocked in 2024. But what do you think about NVIDIA stock? Is it a buy at the current price? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to tell us what your valuation for NVIDIA is. If you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.